Hey, it's great to see you again. Before we took our little Cyrax break, we talked about how Cyrax was banned off the internet by his grandmother Sally. Cyrax had apologized to Marty and friends, and for a couple of hours, it seemed like he might have started a change in his behavior, even telling them that he would start a dance channel. And I'm not saying this for sure, but maybe, keyword, maybe, once this is all said and done, and I am able to come back to YouTube, I may, keyword may be willing to make a channel dedicated to me doing my dancing. But of course, that was almost two weeks ago, and we know that Cyrax is at it again, so why don't we see for ourselves just what happened during the Cyrax Dark Hour, as I like to call it. Cyrax gave his apology on April 7th, and some of the people that he apologized to actually gave out responses. William Gloryhole posted a video on April 8th called A Personal Message to the 43 at 339, My Reply to Your Apology. In the response, it showed Negan from The Walking Dead killing another character, saying, This is what I think of your apology. Marty also responded, but unfortunately, Marty's channel was recently taken down, so therefore, this response is lost. I was watching the stream as Marty addressed the apology though, and from what I remember, Marty talked about how he hoped the apology was real. On April 9th, Fed Smoker Fiends uploaded two videos called He Meant What He Said, Sorry, and Full Blown Retirement. In the first video, Cyrax talks about how there were some people that didn't believe his apology and he wanted to address those accusations. Apparently there are certain people that... You know, don't believe my apology, and, you know, that's fine, it is what it is. Believe what you want, it's free country, you know, freedom of speech, you can believe what you want to believe. But I'm here to tell you all that I meant that fucking apology. I meant every word of it, dude. And I know why a lot of you guys are saying that you don't believe it. It's because I won't get up on panel and dance. And I don't mean that in, you know, like the way of like, oh, get up and dance and say this, say that. No. I mean literally dancing. Like, you know, I'm not doing that. Like I told y'all, maybe one day when I decide to come back, you know, Maybe then and only then will I do it. But until then, I'm not dancing for no motherfucking body, bro. I'm not doing it. But all y'all that are out there, because like I said, I know this is going to be on YouTube because someone's going to see it. But I want y'all to know that truthfully and honestly from the bottom of my heart, I meant that apology. I meant every freaking word of it, dude. Cyrax said that he really was sorry about his actions throughout the years before leaving. But at the end of the day, I want y'all to know that I am sorry about what the fuck I said and did all these years. I really am. And if you don't believe it, then that's on you. I don't know what to tell you. But I truly and honestly am sorry about everything. So, yeah. That being said, um, I may have a little bit of time this morning, so for those of you that do have kick, um, you guys can find me on there this morning. If I have time, I will be doing song covers. If I have time, I don't know if I will or not. But if I do, I will be on there to do song covers and whatnot. So, yeah. I fucking love you guys. And to all y'all out there that don't believe me, I'm sorry. That's your problem, not mine. The second video, however, was just your average Cyrax pity party, where he said that he's done live streaming. But since we've seen that so many times in these videos, I decided not to include it. Cyrax Video Game, on his now-deleted channel, uploaded a video called Cyrax Calls, Annoying Sally Again, and Retracts His Apologies. Cyrax starts out defending his claims that the apology was true when asked about it. I said what I meant, and I meant what I said. I meant every single part of that fucking apology. Now, it's up to them whether they want to believe it or not. That's on them. 
But they need to understand that I was honest about the whole goddamn thing. I was not bullshitting. I wasn't BSing. I was straight up 110% honest, dude. Straight up. All right, just one question. Did Sally write, like, notes down for you? Because she was very involved with this apology, and I know she was. No, she actually, no, she was not. I actually came to her about the idea to see if it would work. And she, honest to God, thought that it was a good idea that maybe doing that could possibly end everything. Five minutes into the call, Cyrox says that it made him sick to make that apology video. Now, like I said, I made my apology video, dude. Yeah, hey, but... let me tell you, dude. Hey, let me tell you something, dude. It made me fucking sick having to make that video. And you want to know why? We saw it on your face. I... We saw it. We saw it on your face. Yeah, dude. You want to know why it made me sick? Because I shouldn't have to apologize to somebody like Marty, who's done nothing but bully me and harass me and my family. And I bet you didn't know about the fucking voicemails that he left on my mom's phone. Chance, you told me this six times party. already. We get a nice sigh rage about the apology, though, before he hung up. No, you sat right there and said that you would accept an apology. Uh, yeah, I you know what? I'll, I'll accept I you making a video, yes. Everyone. I'll accept I you making a video, yes, everyone. but that doesn't mean I accept the apology. I apologize to everyone, you prick. I apologize to everyone. You, your fucking friends, Marty, William, and I fucking meant it. Now shut the fuck up and leave me alone. I did what you want, now back off. Yeah. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> no. Um <laughs> his Twitch is gone. Um Twitch is gone. Kick is hopefully next. Gotta get to work on that. Uh Daily Goblin Rage. Yeah. Later in the video, Cyrex has some interesting things to say about William Glory Hole post apology. Oh, he's a bitch. Glory Hole's a fucking punk ass bitch. How oh, is he? All he does is hide behind his screen all day. I don't fucking hide. Y'all see who the fuck I am? Only pussy. <laughs> that was your mistake. That was your mistake, letting people no, see who no, you are. No, no. You might actually only have a better only, career if you didn't let people see who you are. Only Only hide behind avatars like William does. I don't fucking hide. I hide behind your face. I hide behind your face. No. Cyrex would call Marty and Cyrex video game his enemies before the end of the call. What I'm saying is this. Never reveal your tactics or your receipts to your enemies. And Marty is my enemy. And so are you, but I'm trying to make it to where you're not. Remember how I said that Cyrex had made the claim that he would be quitting live streaming again? Well, as usual, it didn't take long for Cyrex to go right back into doing karaoke streams. Steve from Machete Squad uploaded this full stream, but I think Cyrex's intro is enough. What is up, Kick? I will show this, however. Cyrex showed us his new crown, telling us how, unlike Marty, he was the real king. I hold the crown. I... Hold the fucking crown. That was essentially it for the stream, but you can't tell me he doesn't sound like L from Death Note. What is up, kick? How is everybody this morning, man? So will you. Fuck you. At Cyrax Video Games, you and all your associates can kiss my ass. Music Biz Marty, screw you. Because this right here is a symbol for everything that I've worked my ass off for. Go ahead. Come and take it if you dare. Because can't none of you fucking stop me. Do it, Kira! Unlike Marty, I hold the crown. Later, Cyrax Video Game uploaded a video on his Cyrax Marathon channel called The Goblin Calls 13. There was a lot in this call, but something of note about it was that Cyrax Video Game told Cyrax that Kick Corporate was now involved in the attempt to take down Cyrax's account before Cyrax threatened a lawsuit. Kick Corporate HQ is involved, guy. Kick Corporate HQ is involved now. I called 
bullshit. No, check, check Williams. I check Williams' community bullshit. post. Check William Glory Hole's community I post. Don't check his post. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. It's all lies. It's not. And I can prove it. That's real. That's 100 percent real. Because I emailed them too. Because I emailed them too. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna file an appeal. <laughs> you're gonna see me in court. What's my name, Chance? What's my name? What's William's name? Cyrax would later call Cyrax video game, telling him that he was responsible for taking down Cyrax's kick account. Hey, boy. Let me tell you right now, man. I hope you and your fucking friends are goddamn happy. Oh, what happened? No, 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 because of you and all your little friends, I have no way to fucking make money. Oh, wait, your kick is gone? It's gonna be because you're a little fucking friends. Oh, what, what, why? What are they doing? They fucking sent out an email. Yeah, yeah well, William oh. did, I did, they did, we all did. Why? Why can't you just let me make money? Why? I didn't do shit to you. I deserve to Chance, you tried to have my channel removed twice, boy. Now. It's war. It's war now. No, it's not, boy. It ain't. Because guess what? I'm not going back on any platform. So screw you. So you're gone now? I you're going to be mean, gone? I Chance, I give you a day. I give you a day. I I'm walking away on my own accord. So fuck you. You should do a goodbye stream. <laughs> He's walking away on his own accord. He'll be back. The next day, on April 9th, CVG, as I'm going to call him for the rest of the video, uploaded The Goblin Calls 14. Cyrex called CVG and actually believed that CVG was in charge of both William and Marty. Yeah. What do you want now, Mr. Wilkins? Let me ask you something, little boy. Why should I give in to your demands after I gave you what you wanted and made that fucking video? Hmm? Uh, because I said I so. You, no, I, no, I gave you what you wanted. You guys seriously need to leave me the fuck alone. Chance, it's beyond me. You realize that, right? It's beyond me. No, it's not beyond you, dude. It is. You know full well you have control. Oh, what? So what? You think I can control William or Marty? You're fucking stupid. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. You're fucking because stupid. They're, they're, they work for you. They, oh, they definitely don't work for me. Well, you know what, dude? You can tell Marty and William to fucking kiss my goddamn ass. Why did the, did your Facebook get got? No. Not my yet? Facebook. No, and it's never going to. Oh. So you can tell William to kiss my fucking ass. He'll hear this. He watches all my videos. Yo, know, guess what? He can kiss my motherfucking ass. All right. Later that day, Cyrix on stream told us when he was first targeted and what the trolls have done to him. This is heavily edited down for time. For those of you who don't know me, hi. My name is Chance. When I was 27 years old, I was cyberbullied. I was cyberbullied by people like Music Biz Marty. I was bullied by people like William Glory Hole. I was targeted for no reason. I was made out to be a victim. I was bullied, harassed, and attacked every day. For seven years I was attacked and bullied. And a lot of it does still go on to this very day. And I know a lot of those people that are that have done that and do do that to me are probably watching right now. And that's fine. But for many years I was bullied. And I want to talk to you guys in depth about what these people made me do. And please understand that a lot of what I'm about to say is going to be disturbing. But it's all the fucking truth. Because I want to give you guys a look inside of my life and what these people have done to me. So that maybe, hopefully, one day down the road, we can make that change that needs to be made. And we can put an end to these people. These people have done everything imaginable that you can do to a person. These people have made up lies about me. 
these people have entrapped me. These people have made videos slandering me, my friends, and my family. And one of the worst things that they've done to me that still hurts to this very day, it's still, it's hard to think about. It's still very hard to think about what I'm about to say. Because I never truly got past this. These people sat there and made me do disgusting acts. These people had flat out said that if I didn't do what they wanted, that the bullying was never going to stop. Cyrax actually has the audacity to say Kick and Facebook wouldn't find anything on him during an investigation. I just want to say, Cyrax, I had no clue who you were until December 2022, and in a week of looking into you, I was still nowhere near done scratching the skull. Victimized me over the years that want to try to get me kicked off here and off Facebook, I say this. Go ahead. Let Kick and Facebook look into me because you know something? They're not going to find anything on me. Is gameplay footage me doing my music and me calling out bullies like you guys over there on YouTube that want to try to run my life? That's all they're going to find is me speaking out against bullying and all you trolls. Along with gameplay footage. And music. And that's it. That's all they're going to find. That was about as much of that stream as I was willing to listen to. Later, CVG uploaded The Goblin Calls, number 15. When questioned about taking down the 283 Auditorium, no relation, Cyrax said that he would take down everyone that he could. Welcome back, boy. What? What do you gotta ask? Well, what, 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 what even is the 283? If I supposedly did something, what's the 283 then? The 283 if, Auditorium. You know, the 283 Auditorium channel that got removed for your MO, which was cyberbullying and harassment. That's your MO. Yeah, That's your MO. Yeah, here's the thing, and I'm gonna keep going until all you motherfuckers are gotten rid of. All they are is an archive it's channel. All they are is an archive channel. What? You don't want your history That's preserved? Right, bitch. I just want to point this out, I know you've been flagging me, Chance. But back to the video. We got dangerously close to Cyrax talking to Marty on stream that night before a fight happened. Do it! Do it! Invite me on panel! I'll come up on your panel! I'll come up on your panel! We'll discuss this! We'll discuss this like men! You tell Marty to make a panel right now, and I will call you out! Do it! You tell that How about you text Marty? How about you text Marty? You text Marty. Marty wants to hear from you. Message him on Discord. No, you get him, you fat piece of shit. No, because I'm not gonna go up to the king and say, hey, you better go live, because I'm not like that. I'm not like that. I respect the king. You do not take it. You do not respect the king. I'm your boss. You're not. I'm the owner. You're not. I own you and everyone in your bullshit community. I own all of you. And you want to know why? Because all your content <laughs> is of me that I created. Oh, you Therefore, created these calls? I you created these calls? You, you created these calls? I own all of you. Are you going to throw your phone? I'm waiting no. for that. I'm waiting to hear the bang and then the call end because you threw no, it against no, the fucking no, no, wall. No. On April 11th, Cyrax did another stream, and you're going to have to get that noggin joggin to understand what was really said because I had to change the title for this video. The stream was called, Fuck Self Sunset. After a bunch of nonsense, Cyrax would show off his crown again, this time with a letter. Before I show this clip, I want to tell everyone listening, do not send him anything. I can't make that any clearer. Cyrax is a bad dude, and sending him anything will either be used to hurt people or boost his ego. I want to show you guys something very, very special to me. This right here
was given to me by a fan who actually um, wrote this letter for me. And here's why this thing means so much to me, because the whole King of Akron nickname, that was given to me by a good friend of mine. Hey, CBG, just know this. I'll continue to come out to your channels for bullying, bitch. But I want to read you guys this letter real quick. Or at least part of it. He's like, I just want... This is from... Uh, I don't know, let's see, who is it? This is by a guy named Richard Eric Sean. Shout out to Eric, by the way. He said, I chose... And 18, I chose and created this 18 karat gold crown. As a fan, I have been inspired by your creativity, passion, and dedication to your craft. I hope this gift will serve as a reminder of your remarkable talent and inspire you to continue creating music that moves and inspires people. But it's not just your music that I admire. It's you as a person. I can't imagine how difficult it must be to deal with all the trolls and the haters that come your way. It's not fair that your family have to deal with all that harassment and negativity. I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing to express my love and admiration for your music as your biggest fan. And in the letter, you also find a photo which yada yada yada. But this right here is what gets me. As your number one fan, I will always be here to lift you up and show you love and appreciation that you deserve. Keep being the amazing artist and person that you are. And never let the trolls bring you down. It's stuff like this that keeps me fucking going. All the letters you guys send in, all this shit, it means the fucking world to me, man. After watching that for about an hour, I had to turn it off. On April 13th, Cyrex did a stream called How to Keep Your Work from Being Stolen and What Intellectual Property Actually Means. Cyrex starts off with repeating audio and then says people ask him about copyright all the time. So, a lot of people always ask. Like, and I get asked this, so oh, a lot of people always ask, like, why do I not have my stuff copywritten? Why do I not have this and have that, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm going to fill you guys in on something, and this does pertain to the fucking asshole, Cyrax Video Games, a.k.a. Alex. Cyrax tells us the moment you create something, you own the copyright to it. Cyrax isn't completely wrong here, but that's still not how copyright works. That's bullshit. The minute you create something, the minute you create something, whether it be a drawing, a lyric, a poem, a song, um, a photo, whatever that thing may be, the minute that you create that thing, that intellectual property belongs to you. Cyrax actually promotes false flagging people that he doesn't like. In this case, it was CVG. Oh, for everybody out there that is reporting Cyrax video games, keep reporting the fuck out of them. Keep on doing it. Don't let this man have any motherfucking breathing room. 
Keep reporting the shit out of him for fraud and all kind of shit. Keep that shit going. Later, on April 14th, Marty would do a stream where he interviewed a father who claimed that him and his wife were poisoned by their 14-year-old daughter. By the looks of it, this stream was not archived in any way, so I'm going to have to tell it as best I can based off my own memory and reading about what other people said about it online while it was going on. A man named Tommy Squid messaged William Gloryhole saying that he believed Cyrax contacted his 14-year-old daughter through DeviantArt and convinced her to poison both of her parents. Marty would interview Tommy on stream, and this is the description that Tommy gave of what his daughter said the man looked like. She said that he had scabs all over his head and body, an Amish beard, liked to draw and sing, and looked like a 10-year-old boy in an 80-year-old man's body. Tommy said that he was able to put the pieces together from watching Masshole Report's YouTube channel and gave Marty court documents that Marty redacted and showed off. I'm not going to show these out of respect for the family, however. On April 15th, Cyrax uploaded a video of him swinging around a rope to teach self-defense. I don't want to get copywritten, so I'm going to play this without audio, but Cyrax stopped swinging this thing around, claiming that the cops were outside. Guys, I gotta go. Fucking cops are here. I'm gonna start over for you guys later on. I'll be back. I'll make this up to you guys. On April 16th, Cyrax did a stream that was split into two parts called Never Gib Into the Darkness. Cyrax ended the stream 20 minutes in because someone called Nature Boy got him a little upsetty spaghetti. I'm in the stream right now, and Nature Boy, you're gone! Cyrax would stream again before once again reminding us that Cyrax was dead. No, it ain't a Cyrax world. No. So like I, like I said before, man, Cyrax is dead! That ain't me. That's the person that the trolls made. That ain't me. Later, Cyrax would do a stream called Taking a Break for a While, where he says that he's going on a break because trolls were affecting one of his friendships. What's up, everybody? Um... I'm gonna be making this very short and just very simple and quick so I'm not gonna be on here very long but due to the trolls and then going after directly after one of my best friends and Putting my friendship with one of my best friends of many years on the line. Um, I spoke with my family about it. Um, I spoke with some very close friends of mine. And we all feel the same way that until this shit gets dealt with, um, I'm gonna have to step away for a while. Like, I'm gonna have to step away for a long while until all this shit stops. But who could this mystery friend be, some of you might be asking. Well, it was Security Jake. Marty made a community post on his channel that said, It has come to my attention that Jake is on his last legs with Cyrax. If Cyrax doesn't dance tonight, we should probably do everything in our power to sever the ties between these two lovebirds. Also, kick attack. Setting up, we'll be live in 30 or so. Marty then started a stream and gave Cyrax an hour and a half to show up and dance or Jake was going to get it. 
Marty showed a text from Jake to Cyrax that, to make it short, said to keep him out of the internet drama or he was cutting ties with Cyrax. I would read these out to you, but I can't read Jake's second grade level writing without giving myself a nosebleed. Cyrax was a no-show, and Marty, to his word, whether it was right or wrong, started calling Midnight Plumbers, sending them to Jake's house. Thanks to Psychosis, these calls were archived before Marty's channel got taken down. I'm going to play a part of this, but know that I'm taking addresses and phone numbers out. Hey Roger, I got a major issue going on here. Um, I don't know if you'd be able to send one of your guys out to come by and check it out. There's, I don't know how to put this um, any more polite than there is shit everywhere. Like it's it's just pumping out of the toilet. It's on the floors and it won't stop. We've, we've tried to uh, stem the tide, but yeah, it's, it's it's not pretty. It's a pretty pretty sad state of affairs over here, Raj. Thank you. What is your name, please? Uh, my name is Tony. Tony Baroni. Uh, B A R O N I E. The best phone number to reach you, Tony, for the area code? Um, yeah, the one on uh, on here. I don't know if you have like a caller ID or not, but um. That's the one. What's your address? Um. Yeah, here, one second. Uh, what's that up? I'm dealing with it right now. Yeah. Cool your jets. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, it's, it's, uh. Yeah, you need an email address that we can use to send that receipt for service to? Um, yeah, sure, that works. Um, you can use, uh, Scrapper Steve, uh, 339 at gmail.com. Okay, I'll get this out to, to the plumber on duty. His name is Tony also. Oh, wow. He should be here for a bit short, shortly. Okay. Uh, if you don't hear from Tony within uh, 30 minutes, give us a call back. Okay? okay, sounds great. Thank you. Thank you. All right, God, God bless. Let's get another one. These guys are over there. We'll stop at four. Four people should send a message. I genuinely feel bad for the people Marty sent, but we did get to hear from Jake. Can you can you put Jake on the phone? No, go fuck yourself, dude. I don't know who the fuck you are. Stop dealing with this shit, man. Hey, Jake. Jake, let let the kind man in. I don't think so, sir. You know who this is? I don't give a shit who you are. You know why this is happening? No, I, I already knew Take a guess. Know. Take a guess why this is happening, Jake. Take a guess why this is happening, Jake. Well, listen, you're making a guy here that works for a living come to the house. No, it's not going to stop, buddy boy. It's not going to stop, buddy boy. Your friend could your friend could dance and end all this, but he won't do it. He won't do it because he's a selfish piece of shit. He won't dance because he's a selfish piece of shit. You get him to dance and this will stop. You understand? You understand, Jake? You understand, Jake? Get out of here, Tony. You don't got time for you. Excellent. 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 Perfect. 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 In the early hours of April 17th, a man on YouTube called Mr. Vibecheck went to Jake's house looking for Jake in a video called On a Journey to Get That As Jakey Poo. Unfortunately, it was Jake's father that opened the door. Hello there. Sorry, this is Bob. I'm here to see Jake Maroney. Bar sorry, Baroni. For what reason? Here for a meetup at 1240. What's it for? It's like a thing. Huh? It's like a thing. You leave my son alone. Okay. All right, now get off my porch or I'll shoot you. Okay. CVG later that day posted The Goblin Calls, 18, where Cyrex tells him to leave his friends and family alone. Ah! You went near you, you little fucking shitbag! What are you gonna do? Don't throw it up! You listen up and you listen good! You and your friends need to leave me and my friends and family the fuck How about on. fuck you and fuck your friends too? Yeah, shut your little bitch ass up! No! No to you little Fuck bitch. your family too! Oh, fuck oh, your no. family too! Shut your mouth, little boy! None of you fucking own me like you think you do! Oh, we do. 
you. We all own you. We all own you. Now shut your mouth and leave me alone no. before I find out where you live and I'll bring legal action your but, ass. Wait, find out where I live. Find out where I live. I thought it was Tennessee. I thought I lived in Tennessee. Trust me, I thought I lived in Tennessee. The in Tennessee. Hey, Perry, the I told you I called SSI. No, dude, I did. I called SSI because you you're making money on Kick, which is not allowed. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I, I, I just got off the phone with them earlier. I did. Cyrax later would do another stream called The Ending is Beginning. Cyrax starts the stream saying that everything between him and Jake is good before saying that he's quitting live streaming again as he tells his audience he's going to give them one last show, the best one he's ever done. What's up? So, first off, I want to let y'all know the things between me and Jake are good. No, you're not. You're good, Gary. But, As you guys know, you guys already know my story. Over the past several years, I've been bullied, attacked, harassed. Friends have been attacked and harassed. All kinds of bad stuff has happened. But over the last few days, things have gotten so, so bad. And... It's come to the point to where I've had to make a decision. And it's not one that I wanted to make. It's not one I wanted to do. But unfortunately, with how bad things have gotten, I sadly have to step away indefinitely from streaming until all this stuff gets dealt with. But I didn't want to leave you guys with that one final fucking show to say my thanks to all you guys that have stuck with me. Because all you guys that are stuck with me, I appreciate the living fuck out of you guys. And Gary, I already did that last time. But I wanted to give you guys the best show that I possibly could. Then, on April 18th, in the early hours of the morning, tragedy struck. Marty's channel got taken down. But before that, we did get to see Marty and Cyrax reunite for the first time in what felt like forever. I haven't gotten a chance to do highlights yet, so let's go. Oh, wow. Marty? No, Marty. Shut the fuck up. What's up, Cyrax? Shut your mouth. You need to leave my friends No, shut up. You need to leave my friends alone. I know why you're doing this. You're doing this because I left YouTube to get away from your ass, and you want me for fucking content. I know what the fuck you're about. I know who you fucking work for, you little lap dog bitch. Mm. You need to leave my friends alone. You got that? Mm. You leave, no, shut the fuck up. You leave them alone. You leave my brother Jake alone. Can you don't? You know damn well I've got your fucking address, boy. I got your number, bitch, and you know it. Now leave my friends and my family the fuck alone before I see your ass like that. No. Shut the fuck up. Do you want to beat your ass like I did that Friday night, you fucking Do you need to leave me No, shut up. Little fat ass bitches like you that bully people like me. I love you. No, shut up. I love you. Little... Shut your fucking ass up, you little bitch. People like you. you. No, the fuck you don't. If you came a fuck. No, the fuck you don't. If you actually like me in this way, 
Shut your mouth up right now, little boy. If you actually like me the way that you say you fucking do, then you leave my friends and family the fuck alone. Now, you don't see me as anything more than a quick cash grab. That's all you see. Well, let me tell you right now, shut your mouth, fat ass. I'm telling you right now, you don't own me. You're not my mother. You're not my father. You're nothing more than a little bitch made, second shit bag, just like your dad. You're a failure, just like your mom. You're a bitch. And all you really are is a fat ass bully looking for a reason to go after me. So, Marty, fuck off before I make you know. Shut up. You better I fuck off. Love you. Shut your love mouth. You. No, the fuck I love you, you don't. No, you don't. I do. Shut your ass up. I you want to teach you. Hey, that's why I won that fight on Friday, isn't it, Marty? That what? night I won Wait, that what? fight. No, shut your mouth. You want to know why I won that <laughs> fight? Because, yeah, you may have been my ass. But guess what, bitch? You failed to kill me. I'm still standing. I'm still standing, and unlike you, I can actually keep my balance. Your ass fell and couldn't get up, because you're too fucking weak. I love you. I'm in love you with you. Up. Yo, guess what? We all hate you, and honestly, I'll be honest, Marty, I would be happy if you fucking died. I would be, I know, shut your mouth, I would be happy if you took your life. I would be happy so much. Shut your mouth. I would be happy if you died. You wanna know why? Cause you're nothing more than a fucking bully that's been going at me for seven years. And I'm tired of it. You're the way no. You, William, and CBG are the reason I left. What? No, I'm standing up for Jake. Don't let her get in the way of what we had. We don't have nothing, Marty. We could have so much. Like, we love Shut each other. Shut your mouth, you f***. No, it's unconventional. I'm not Marty. doing anything. Marty. Can't. Marty. Shut up, Nick the bitch. Leave my family alone. Leave my friends alone. Otherwise, next time, I'm coming for your fucking head. And I'm not going to. As soon as you leave, I'm calling back the crime scene cleanup. As soon as you leave, I'm calling the crime scene cleanup back. So. Fuck you. Okay, so as soon as you leave. You. After now. You need to leave my friends alone. You got that. And that ain't just coming from me. That's coming from my brother, Jake. No, you have people come between us. Shut your mouth. I will be going out you legally, Marty. So trust me. Oh, trust you when I say this time I do have a legal team backing me the fuck up. And I'm not I'm not joking, Marty. No, leave my friends and family alone or next time it's your head and your ass is mine legally. You get that? Next time. Chance, that's right. No, not what I mean, you fat ass. Yes, this is yours, Chance. Shut your bitch ass up. Mm. I want nothing to do with you. I am not yours. I will never be with you. If anything, I hate you, and I want nothing to fucking do with you. I never want to hear your name or voice ever again. And I swear to fucking God. If I hear that you're going after my friends or anybody I know, one more mother, trust your mouth. Trust me when I say I will be coming for your fucking neck and I will be beating your ass in front of your fucking family the same way that you try to. This is the last time I ever want to hear from you. Because next time. No, next time. I won't be so nice. Mm, chance. Look, the saying is true. If you love something, let it go. If it comes back to you, 
and it's true love. Like, hello? We're meant to be! Later, Steve from Machete Squad posted a call from Cyrax, where Cyrax denies responsibility for taking Marty's channel down. Hello. Listen, dude. I hope you understand where I'm coming from with this, but you really need to tell your boy to fuck off, because I now know why he's coming at me. Your boy stayed just dead. I had something to do with Marty's channel getting taken down. No, the fuck I did not. I honestly did not know that his channel got taken down until this morning. No one I know went after him, and neither did I. I don't know who got his channel struck down or if he did something on his own, but you seriously need to tell your boy to fuck off and find someone else to go after, for real, dude. Because my family's on the verge of pressing fucking charges after they find out where he's at. Because trust me, I say there are people that we are talking to that are going to be tracking him. If he does not stop, he seriously needs to stop. What he's doing is breaking the law. Trying to blackmail me into dancing. Dude, that's fucking blackmail. And you can't tell me it's not, man. Wake the fuck up, dude. Wake your fucking dumb ass up. This man ain't your homie. He's using you to fuck with me. When are you gonna realize that, dude? You don't think I don't know about the channel that he's got up? where he recorded the conversation between me and you. You don't think I don't know that you run and tell him everything I fucking say and that you sit there and laugh? I'm being nothing but honest with you, man. Just like I've always been since day one. You need to wake the fuck up, kid. For real. Wake your dumb ass up and realize that this dude is a piece of fucking shit. Then, on April 19th, Cyrex announced that he had a spiritual awakening and that Marty and friends weren't just trolls, but were actual demons. Um, so, I have a major, major announcement for you guys. As you guys know, I've been dealing with a lot of that stuff over the last several years and as you guys know I took a couple of days off to kind of try to battle this stuff and try to get rid of it but there's something I found that the more I battled it the harder shit got and the other night when I went down to sleep, something really weird happened. And you guys know me. You guys know that, you know, I try not to get too religious or anything like that. You guys know that I don't like to get religious because, you know. I, mean, I don't like to drag that in to whatever. But, the other night, when I was sleeping, something weird happened. And, you know, and I can't explain it, but, call it God, call it his angels, call it what you want. But something happened the other night that made me fucking realize... That by answering back against these assholes that have been doing this shit to me for the past few weeks and people like Marty and all these people that have been coming after me those were the demons in human form that I've been dealing with and don't get me wrong, we've all got our demons. We all have shit that we battle every day. And these demons that I've been facing were demons in human form. And I know a lot of you guys, you know, you don't believe in, you know, angels, demons, whatever, and that's fine, but I'm telling you right now firsthand, you better start because demons, they're very real and they come in all kinds of fucking forms. They come in human form, non-human form, spirit form, 
but the ones I've been facing were in human fucking form, and they were by the name Music Biz Marty, William Glory Hole, Natural Mafia, Cyrax Video Games. Those people were the ones that were the demons that I had to fucking fight through. <laughs> Let me tell you, those demons that I dealt with are more real than, you know, than I thought. And I'll be honest with you guys, it's been a hard fight going through this shit, battling this stuff, going and trying to, you know, trying to get through all the bullshit, like, it's been hard. But this morning, one of my friends sent me a video that I really needed to see. Which is why I'm saying right here in front of you guys that the old me, the me that these demonic evil fucking people that have no lives created, that version of me, done. It's done. That version of me is dead. And trust me when I say I want nothing to do with that side of me. I want nothing to do with that monster that these trolls fucking created. Because that monster that these people created and tried to make me out to be, that's not who I really am. And that's why I'm giving you guys the gift that I should have given you guys a long fucking time ago. And you know what that is? You know what that gift is? My fucking music and my story. For the first time. In almost four years. I'll be telling my story through my brand new album called Helen Back. Which describes all the shit that I went through because of these people. And showing you guys what I went through first fucking hand. Because I want you guys to see exactly what I went through. To feel the pain that I felt. To see what I had to deal with and how I made it out. Because let me tell you right now, if I can fucking get out of this shit, if I can get through all this shit, so can you. We get to hear just what kind of a person Cyrax is, straight from the horse's mouth. Cyrax is fucking dead. Get over it. Cause Cyrax is a monster that the trolls made. Not who I wanted to fucking be. That Cyrax person that these people made, that's not really me. That's not who I wanted to be, ever. I never wanted to be that person that these trolls made over the last several years. That ain't me. That ain't who these people deserve. That's not who any of you guys in chat deserve. No one deserves that. And no, he wasn't interesting. You know what he was? He was a fucking burden. On uh, me, my family, my friends, on uh, my career, he was a fucking psychopath that I'm glad that I did away with. Because I did shit under that name that I would never even think about doing. Later that day, Marty would do a stream on his backup channel, where he said how weird Cyrax had been acting that day. First and foremost, though, uh, I, I gotta say, um, I'm gonna let you guys call this here. Um, there's kind of like an important decision to be made. Um, Cyrax has been very strange today. Um, like, CVG is usually in contact with him. His phone's been off all day. I talked with his friend Clint. 
um, who the, the one who he pretends that his wife is dying of cancer. Um, they haven't heard from him today. His Xbox has been on the home screen for the past 10 hours. Um, so I, I'm not even sure what, what's going on there, but uh, I kind of feel like even if the pressure is launched on Jake, that he's still going to be, he's not going to be responsive. Um, I tried contacting him. Is he dead? <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Marty would talk about Wings of Redemption for an hour before going back to Cyrax. And just as he starts talking about Cyrax, guess who showed up? Oh, look who it is! Hey, Cyrax! You really are a fucking joke, you know that? Oh, hey! You know what's, what's going on, buddy boy? You know what's funny about you? What's that? You think you have me. You think you have me, but the truth is, you don't have me. You never did have me. What do you and mean? You never will have me. What do you mean? I don't play dumb. What I've do you mean I never had you? I seen your server. You sitting there talking about how you had me, bitch. You what never I, had I, I, me. I, I, no, listen. You never did have me. You never do have me, and you're never gonna have me. We get a classic Cyrax threat in response to Marty before leaving. Yo, uh, his now. Why don't you just dance to save your friend? No. I'd rather watch Marty's dad beat your ass. So go look at that. Watch Marty's dad beat my ass. Okay, so then there we go. Here we go. Here we go. So what is an unattended death? Does anyone know what that means? Cyrax called back into the stream to tell Marty to send a message for him to Perry before giving it himself. Is that just me or is he high as a fucking kite? Oh, and here he is. Oh, and Marty, I forgot to tell you something. You can tell your little handler, Perry Caravello, I said to kiss my fucking ass. Yeah. And don't play, don't, don't play stupid, boy. I know you were. Don't play stupid, Marty. Okay, fine, fine. Oh, who I, know, I know who you work for. You work for his new name, Perry Caravello, who sees me as a threat. I know he's paying you off. I'm not stupid. You're doing. I'm not dumb. You're I'm so high dumb. right now. Hey, Perry Caravello, I have just one thing to say oh, to you. Hey, hey, Perry, I know you're watching this right now. Probably you nice, dumbass nice. fuck boy. Nah, shut up for a second, little bitch. All right. Maybe not the Hey, Perry, Perry Caravello, I know you're probably watching this right now, you retard little bitch. So, Perry, you want me? Come get me yourself, you fucking f***ing motherfucker. I know you're watching this, and honestly, I want you to try to come at me yourself. Because the minute you do, your ass is done. And, Marty, you even think about going after any of my family ever again? Oh, I'm, make sure they, I'm make damn sure. To make your life a living fucking hell for the rest of your oh, fucking life. Fuck. And I'm not playing around, boy. I'm just talking. You think you gotta shut your fucking mouth. You okay. think that you run shit? Nah, sucker. I run you. I run Perry. I run all you dumbass little ass mongoloid little bitches. There it is. All there it is. Guys, all you guys are are a bunch of little pussies. Send me on the screen because you're fucking bored with your lives. And the whole reason why Perry's doing this shit is because he sees me as a motherfucking threat. Well, guess what, Perry? I'm not a threat to you. I so never had you know, shut your mouth, fat fuck. I ain't talking to your Pillsbury doughboy looking ass. So All right, so shut up, you All, right. All right. So, Perry, you want to sit there and run your fucking mouth about me? Why do you pan on to come say, say, hey, Perry, you sit there and talk about being a badass? Pan on to say something to me yourself, you little pussy bitch. Go ahead and pan on to say something to yourself, you dumb fuck. Why would he say oh, something to me? Or are you too busy failing at fucking skateboarding and snowboarding to do that? I've seen your videos, Perry, and trust me when I say this, dude, I used to fucking skate and I used to snowboard, and I can pay for a fact, Perry, you fucking suck, dude. I have never seen anybody drop into a bowl. And break their ass the way that you do, don't fuck. What are you, you do about? this every time. You do this every goddamn time, dude. And you, you use people, about? and you hire people, and you hire people like this dumb fuck Marty, 
right here. Who he's thinks so he's a real badass? But really, Marty, you're nothing but a fucking fat ass chump with nothing better to do with this time than sit on the fucking internet and try to fuck with people. Well, maybe if you get off the fucking internet and actually do something other than sit on your fucking ass and you waste your that? fucking more than you, bitch. Oh, wait, no, I forgot. You, you, I forgot. You like to rob Burger King and Dairy Queen every day, so nobody can talk. I, like, you, I like to rob a lot of restaurants, actually. But Marty accused Cyrax of being high, and then they got into it. You're so high, My dude. Friend, actually, I'm not even high, dude. You are, though. I'm what are you, what are you actually, I'm not. Actually, I'm not. And you make your own food tomorrow. Make your own food tomorrow. Hey, shut your mouth, fat ass. You know hey, don't fuck. You want to know what it is? I'm finally seeing through your delusional garbage, dude. Okay. You want to talk delusional? Look in the fucking mirror, man. You talk about being a badass? Dude, you I ain't no badass. You ain't no bullshit you haven't, dude. Shut your fucking mouth. You know you have. Hey, Chomo, you know you have. Chomo? You're the Chomo, dude. Bullshit, dude. You ain't on it. You hang out with Tony, who's a real, and you support. That makes you a. That makes you a title by association. Well, your dad was. A so are you though? Yeah. Well, guess what? I have nothing. Yeah. And guess what? I don't talk to him, do I? No. He doesn't talk to you. He doesn't talk to you. He thinks you're a disgrace. No. Yeah. That's he just, says, yeah no, he that's just you. Sucks. Sucks. you guys he guys see this music shit? sucks. <laughs> you guys see this shit, man? This you're guy's so dumb as fuck. Hey, Marty. You're a fucking retard, and now I'm calm as fuck. I ain't I. I'm calm as fuck because I see right there. You're calmer than I've ever been before, dude. I see you. I you see you. Right, I see right through your bullshit. And honestly, Marty, you're a shitty fucking liar. You I'm fucking suck. I'm doing I'm this because you're desperate. Marty. Let's be honest. You're doing all this because you're desperate for views. Because yeah. to you, I'm nothing but I'm nothing more than a cash grab. But That's if you don't make your money yourself, you don't make any money yourself. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Shut the fuck up. You don't make any money yourself. Raxanova talked to Marty about the ladies and how Marty's girlfriend, Saren, really feels about Marty's actions. Why don't I shut you up like I made your girlfriend shut up last night after she sucked my dick, bitch? Oh, did that happen? Oh, it did. Very much so. Oh, wow. And that's, that's why she ain't with you. Why do you think she wants nothing to do with your garbage? She sees through it just like I do, yeah, dude. She's busy you really, so think, you, really, she's, you really think she's happy with the shit that you do? No, she ain't, dude. I mean, how how would Saren feel knowing that you're doing this bullshit, dude? Do you think that she likes you? Do you think she, you seriously? Do you think she was ever your friend? After a rant about how Marty was nothing without Cyrax, Marty pointed out that Cyrax was so high he couldn't even keep his eyes open before a debate on jobs started. And what's funny about you, Marty, you're so pissed off at me for speaking the truth that you literally have to fucking mute me because you know I'm telling the fucking truth. That's you why you mute me. Eyes. That's why you mute me like you can't a even bitch. Your eyes right now, you're so like high. Bitch. You're a bitch, dude. You're a like nobody loser without me, and you know it. Without me, weird? shut your ass up, old man. You feel weird right now? Shut your bitch ass up. You, you feel weird right now. Whatever. No, I feel good knowing that I get to live my life in fucking peace while you get to sit there and run around clamoring to try to get footage of me. And guess what? Dude, you're still wearing hair and hair for you, dumbass. You and think about coming your out. Eyes are closed. You hey, can't even open them. Ass up. Can't even open your eyes. Hey, Pillsbury Doughboy, shut your ass up, dude. You're so low. Like, I don't know. Shut, shut up. Shut up, you what bitch. Is, what man. did we do? Seriously, hey, what did you do? Hey, fat ass. Why don't you get off the fucking internet and go get a real job like everybody else, huh? Who or are you too much? Or, 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 or are you already too lazy to do that? Are you too fucking stupid and lazy to do that? What's your job? Easy. I'm on cake making bank while you sit here and run your fucking yeah. mouth. Dude, you made forty dollars in two weeks. I, actually, it's more than that. Honestly, it really is. And what's sad, Marty? 
You know what's sad about you, Marty? Forty-five dollars in two weeks. No, you know what's you know what's sad about you, dumbass? The okay. fact that you have to fuck. What's sad about you is you gotta fucking use people to get somewhere. I don't have to do that. And you hate that I actually have talent. I have more talent in my little kinky. So your job is being on kick and you make three dollars a day. Okay. Well, I'm on YouTube and I make I I, I do well. I, I, I do okay. Cyrex gave out a threat about copyright striking anyone that's going after his content, and as ridiculous as that sounds, this is a genuine threat that Cyrex is not just capable of, but has been actively doing. And let me tell you right now, here's a fair right, one to you. Here's a fair one to you, fat ass. If I see you, CVG, or any of your little bitch friends coming after my content again, trust me when I say I will be copyright striking all you motherfuckers. Just like I did last time, and your channel's gonna be gone again. And don't think that I'm not gonna be calling your internet provider and telling them about what you've been doing. And wh who's my internet provider? Oh, trust me, what, I have my I ways. What is it? Trust me, I say, trust me, I say, Marty, I have my ways of finding that shit out. Don't you okay. worry. Okay. All I'm gonna say to you is this: you okay. need to leave people the fuck alone and get the fuck over the fact. That I told you no. Cyrex would lie about working a real job, and Marty points out that Cyrex was like a homeless man with a shopping cart and a bunch of cans before giving a real response. Like, well, what goes through your head when you do this shit? Do you, like, wake up on that? Do you wake up and go, like, oh, I have to do this today? You don't have to do anything today. You can go out and get a real job, so why don't you? You're always telling me, why don't I go out and get a real job? Why don't you go out and get a real job? Why don't you... Because I make a lot more money doing this. Don't matter. You still need to get off the internet, man. You're using that right. as an excuse. Right. Marty, let's be honest. In the real world, you would never fucking survive. I'm pretty sure you... What real jobs have you had? I'm curious. I actually have worked real jobs, dude. They mean... Like what? Like what? Tell me about it. Hard work. They were still honest hard work, dude. Doing scrapping, doing, doing scrapping, doing, shut up, man. Doing scrapping. You said that when you scrap, you used to have a little wagon that you pulled around. Like, there's no way you could generate enough income to survive putting scrap metal in a wagon. Cyrax said that he was going to leave the call, but decided to stay a little bit longer to show off the crown and talk about who was the king. You gotta go drooling on your fucking beard because you're high as a kite right now. Uh, and you can go away because Wings DoorDash driver is sh just showing up at the Walgreens. Hey, Marty, by the way, so you want high, to talk about hey, Marty, you want to talk about being the king of Akron? No, you ain't. Yo, boy's got the crown. So when you when I asked you who's the king, why did you tell me that I was? You fucking idiot. Now, was, was it because you were getting pummeled? Because you're a little bitch who can't defend himself and you're all talk? That's my guess. No. So why no. did you? It's called being smart. I wanted you to think that. Why? I wanted you to think that. Because Since I am the King of Akron, I would never tell anyone else that they're the King of Akron. Um, because being the King of Akron is something that I take seriously. Yeah, and guess what? Your boy's the one with the crown, bitch. Okay. So yeah, who's the king now, bitch? Fuck yeah. you. I'm the one Drew King. And let me tell you right now, Marty, your best bet, man, I'll tell you right now, I'll tell you this honestly as a real human being, your best bet is to stop going after motherfuckers and stop doing what you're doing. Because I've seen a lot of, no, listen, I've seen a lot of motherfuckers now. Cut the video, bro. I want to have a hard to heart with you for a sec, boy. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. See, for what, and I'll say this because I've seen this a million times, man. Motherfuckers yeah. like you, they never last on this fucking platform. And yeah. the way you're going, the way you're going, dude, you're going to crash and burn. Why would I listen to you when I've actually removed you from the platform? No, you didn't remove me. I Why aren't you on it anymore? Because I left on my own accord and I got better shit to do. Right after I lumped you up? Okay. No. Yeah. I got better shit. Yeah. No, here's the thing, dude. You're so I got lucky. better I got better shit to do with my life than why can't you open your eyes? Why can't you get the fuck off YouTube and Do you not realize you're high right now? 
No, I'm not high. Right. I'm calm as fuck. What did you eat today? When when was when did you eat it? I'm guessing uh, you probably had a, a hot pocket at about maybe uh, nine p.m. Oh, oh, oh man, you you know who you remind me of? You remind me of that Johnny Gobble dude that up church has to deal with okay. all the time. You're dumb as fuck. You love to make up all these lies, which is honestly it's, right. it's, it's pathetic. Honestly, Marty, you will make up. You'll make up anything for a fucking view, and it's funny. So, with that being said, man, I gotta get back to making music because I got a brand new record. Yeah, I gotta call a crime scene cleanup crew to Jake's house. So, you go about your night, and I'll go about mine. Yeah, and uh, have fun dealing with his dad, who's probably gonna end up kicking your ass because when they, if they do show up there, all I gotta do is give Jake's dad your yeah, number. I'll call, him, yeah, I'll call him right now, actually. Go ahead. Because okay. uh, I, got, I got your number, and next time I see you pitch that, all I got to do is give him your okay. number. I don't know that it was you that sent him. So have fun dealing with Jake's dad. He was probably going to end up kicking your ass. So good luck with that. Hello, and thank you for calling Aftermath. The nation- oh, shit. I'm actually on bad terms with Aftermath. Um. Yeah, I guess they're the same ones as before. Uh, to be honest, uh, let me let me check up with this DoorDash guy first. So he's stopping. Let me give him a jangle. Hang on. I'm more interested in that. Weirdly, he was high as a fucking kite. He was like slumped the fuck up. After this, worried about Cyrax, Marty gave a call to the Akron Police and Fire. No, it's not going to be anonymous. Like, they, they know me and I know them. Hi, um, this is going to sound like rather strange. Um, I'm not sure how acclimated or familiar you are with, uh... Okay, okay so... Uh, I'm taking it that you know what I'm talking about. Um, it seems like the resident there, uh, the known 43, uh, Chance Wilkins, and if you go over there and investigate, you'll definitely see for yourself, but um, he's like very high and like very drugged. Uh, it, it seems that when he gets really riled up and upset, his grandmother slips something into his hot pocket, um, but he, he, like, he can barely keep his eyes open. He's like slumped over. And, uh, the sad thing is, I don't even think he knows that it's happening to him. Okay, and so are you there at this right now? No, but he's, he's, he's got, like, a regular fixture on various social media sites. And he's been very temperamental lately. Um, he's, like, drooling. He's, like, stumped over. He's lethargic. It's... Can you tell this? Absolutely. He is high as a kite right now. Yes. Yeah, my name is Marty. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. God bless you. All right. There you go. Is that satisfactory? Are you satisfied now? Is that okay? Like, is that is that enough for you? Like, <laughs> I... Um, you know, like, uh, hopefully that'll uh, feed your bloodlust. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Marty even got a call back from the Akron police. Hello? Hello. Hey, is this music this Marty? As a matter of fact, it is. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is Sergeant Long with the Akron Police Department. Well, how's it going? Uh, well, it's going okay. Where are you seeing Chance right now? Um, he appeared early on one of my live streams, and he was, like, honestly slumped over. Um, he, Are you watching him live, or is this one of his old things? No, it, it, was, cur it, was, current as, it was current as of 90 minutes ago. Yeah, it was, it was current as of, like, yeah, I, I'd say it was approximately two hours ago. It's on the uh, Music is Marty backup channel, and, and honestly, um, he's drooling. He couldn't keep his eyes open. It was kind of... It's messed up. Like, I think his grandma drugs him when he gets upset. What would make you think that his grandma drugs him, Marty? 
he was very volatile earlier, and he was drooling, and he couldn't keep his eyes open. And Why he, do you think his grandma is drugging him? Well, he's very anti-drug well, by choice. Yeah. No, 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 well, 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 hang, 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 hang on, let me, let me, let me respond here, please, no, no, hang on, sir, 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 sir officer, please, please let me respond, um, I'm, I'm just reporting that, what I think, sergeant, okay, well, um, I'm sorry for, um, misaddressing you, uh, I, I don't agree with swatting on false reports, but Chance, he's normally a very vibrant guy, he's a very, I don't know, what was that? No, no, and again, like I wouldn't. What's your real name, Marty? What's your real name? Nicholas Beagler. I'd rather not. I'm, you can figure it out. You're right, I can. I know. Okay. Okay. So, again. Okay, well, you, you'll find. Okay, and again, this is a factual report. He's a, normally a very vibrant, energetic guy, and if you look at. The video and the footage, he's slumped over, he can't keep his eyes open, and he's drooling. That's on your, the music is Marty Backup channel on which streaming service is that? You can figure that out as well. No, I'd like you to just tell me. You want me to well, tell yeah, so, like, I, I, I was... Tell me what it is. I, well, okay. Again, I feel like you were trying to investigate me, whereas I'm trying to no, help I you solve potential crime. I want to see this video you're talking about. Okay, well, then, you know what? What um, is it on? Is it Twitter? Is it Facebook? It's on YouTube. Yes. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. I will go ahead and take a look. Okay. And again, it's not necessarily an emergency, so don't go over there with your guns drawn out. It, I'm just reporting my observations. And I think if you look at them, you'll conclude that he is acting not in accordance with his normal self. Okay. Well, there he goes. Okay. All right. I mean, like, I don't, I don't know. Dude. I don't know, man. I, I didn't like his energy there. I didn't like his energy, but that's all right. That's whatever. Uh, look, I, I can only help you try to uh, solve crimes in your town. Very standoffish. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't really like his energy at all. I. I. I, I didn't. I, I cannot say that I, I appreciated uh, the way that he handled that. On April 20th, CVG's channel got taken down by YouTube during the premiere of a video. As of April 21st, aka when I'm recording this right now, I think it's safe to say that the Cyrax Dark Hour is over now that Cyrax has gone back to talking to Marty. When it comes to Cyrax, quitting Marty is like quitting cigarettes. He could avoid Marty for a month, but all it takes is one call for the addiction to return. Thanks for watching guys, and don't worry, I'm not gonna let Cyrax intimidate me when it comes to making these, but I will have to be careful so he can't hit me with a strike like he's been doing with other people. As always, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you soon.